G'day, this is Julian from PyBytes Code Challenges and welcome to our Newbie Bytes and Introductory Bytes. I'm going to quickly demonstrate our Newbie Byte number one, assigning objects and how the Py testing works in particular. The reason I'm doing this is because if you are new to Python in any way, shape or form, you will likely not have seen PyTest before. Now PyTest is a module that allows us as coders to test our own code and we do that just to make sure that our code is doing what it's supposed to be doing before we push the code into production you know you don't want to push your code to production and not know if it's actually going to work right so that's why we use PyTest and that is why on our platform when you write code to meet certain requirements as per our exercises we run actual PyTest tests on your code. So we will test your code. Now other coding platforms out there will just try and do a simple match against what you're typing to make sure you're typing exactly what they want you to type. But in our case, when you get to our more advanced bytes, you'll notice that your solution may be very different to ours, but your code works, gets the desired output, it as in it completes the challenge, it completes the exercise, but it's written a different way. And that is exactly how it works in the real world. You will code differently to everyone else. What matters is the output of your code. Does your code solve the problem? And that's where testing comes in. We will test to see that your code solves the problem regardless of how you write it. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this quickly because when you see that output, it might scare you. So here's the first exercise of our newbie bytes. It says, now it's your turn. In the coding window below, assign the age 86 to the object Bob's age. So the first thing we want to do is hop into our code below this line window. And this is just your coding window that you type in. And we can type whatever we want. Now, what we want to do is try and solve this problem. Now, what our exercise here is asking us to do is type in Bob's underscore age and then assign the number 86 to it. Now, this will work. This is literally all we're asking you to do because we're teaching you how to assign something to an object, okay? While this will pass, I wanna show you what a failure is. So I'm going to delete the underscore here and we're going to click save and run tests. When we run these tests, we get a nice red box here. Let's scroll down a bit. And it tells you, sorry, not there yet. Don't worry, we know you can do it. it tells us there was one error. Now, if you click the show PyTest output button, it reveals the entire PyTest. And what we can see here, and this is why I wanted to show you because it's quite daunting if you've never seen something like this before. It might confuse you. Go look for the E. The E indicates where the error is. So for now, you can ignore all of this stuff and look straight for the error line. Now this error line is saying cannot import Bob's underscore age. Again, maybe just for now, ignore this until you get more familiar with PyTest and how it works. For now, just notice the fact that it's trying to use an object called Bob's underscore age. And that clearly doesn't exist. It can't use it because we haven't written it here. We have Bob's age without the underscore, which means we haven't read the instructions properly because it says here explicitly, assign the age 86 to the object Bob's underscore age. I want you to keep this in mind as you go through these exercises because you may get caught out with little things like a full stop missing, or in this case, an underscore missing from the object name. These things matter, okay? Because in your real code base, if you get an object name wrong, if you name a variable something that doesn't match with the rest of your code, you're gonna break your code. That's why it matters. So now that I've put the underscore in there, save and run the tests, and we will get a nice, happy green box Awesome, your latest code made the pie test pass. Way to go, you solved this byte. When you show the output, bang, everything's perfect. One passed in 0.02 seconds. And then we can move on to the next byte. So 
To wrap it up, when you get an error, click Show PyTest Output, look for the E that indicates where your error is, read through that line there and try and make sense of that to see as a hint where you went wrong. Also, reread the instructions and make sure you're doing everything correctly to help you find where you've gone wrong. And last but not least, if you are stuck, please reach out. We have forums, we have the Slack channel, we have email, whatever it is that you want that you can reach out to us from, please send us a message. Myself, Bob, the rest of the community, we are here to help. Slack is your friend. If you get stuck on any of our exercises, you can hop into the Code Challenges chat room in there and then ask some questions. So enjoy. Good luck with all the bites. And if you get stuck, feel free to reach out. Also feel free to Google. It's the way to do it, right, in the real world. So give it a crack, have some fun, and let us know what you think. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.